Today's video is all about my home decor update, trying Fenty skin, and introducing the new addition to the family. Let's get into the video. Anybody that knows me knows I am one of Rihanna's biggest fans. That's like my Caribbean sister in my head. Like, no, seriously, y'all. So, of course, I was going to support her new skincare product called Fenty Skin. Plus, I'm trying to get my skin together after this whole mask wearing situation. It's been a little rough. All right, so anytime that I'm getting ready to wash my face or do a skincare routine, first thing I do is pull my hair back and make sure that it's, it is completely away from my face so that my face and my neck area are fully exposed. So the first product I'm trying out is the Total Cleanser 2-in-1 Makeup Remover and Cleanser. So all of Rihanna's products in her Fenty skincare line are 2-in-1 products. This is something that attracted me to the skincare line because I can eliminate having to use multiple products and just use three products to get the job done. So because this cleanser is a 2-in-1 uh, makeup remover, um, as you can see, it is pretty thick, but that's because it transforms from a cream into a lather so that it won't strip the skin and dry my skin out. And it absolutely removed the makeup that I had on. So this here, I had on light makeup, not a full face, but once I rinsed this cleanser off, let me tell you, my face felt amazing and it was no residue left behind why hasn't he called me back it's been three days stalking his instagram saying he's in a face so now you're telling all right so now that my face is so fresh and so clean i'm just shooketh at how smooth the cleanser really has my face feeling like y'all it really makes my skin feel soft. The next product that I'm gonna use is the Fat Wata. Yes, this is a two-in-one toner plus serum to get my skin nice and even toned. And it has a little scent to it, which was I was a little skeptical about because I do have sensitive skin. However, I've been using this product now for two weeks and it hasn't done my skin wrong. So, as you can see here, I did not use a cotton ball or like a cotton swab. Normally use when you put on a toner because that's how thick the fat water is. Like literally you do not have to use anything else but your hands to go ahead and put it on your face. All right, so the last and final step in my skincare routine using Fenty Skin products is the Hydrovisor. Now, this product, again, is a two-in-one moisturizer plus sunscreen. And this is, I'm gonna say this is my favorite, favorite product out of the whole collection because the sunscreen in itself is so, so light and it doesn't leave like that white residue that a lot of sunscreens leave, especially if you use it for your face. So this is definitely one of my favorite products out of the whole collection. As you can see, I'm rubbing it all over my face and it absorbs instantly and so smooth into the skin. Like, yeah. This is my favorite. This is my number one out of the whole collection. Um, again, I have sensitive skin, so being a two-in-one product, moisturized and leaving my face hydrated on top of protecting it from the sun, I'm gonna give this one an A plus, okay? And don't forget to moisturize not only your face, but your neck area is also just as important when it comes to your cleansing and moisturizing your face because it is a part of your face and you can't walk around with a smooth face and a wrinkly neck ladies like that's not cute at all okay all right y'all and this is it this is the final look from using the Fenty skin care line for the first time I have been using it for now now for about two weeks and I must say that it has been consistent with providing a natural glow, even tone, and it has helped reduce the mask need, the acne from the mask. 
um, from showing on my face. So I'm definitely appreciative and I'm satisfied. I'm a satisfied customer, y'all. So I would definitely link all of the products and description in the description box below if you want to give it a try. Let your girl know in the comment section. But now let's get into a little home decor because I know that's what y'all want to see, right? Okay, let's go. So it is my favorite time of the year. It is fall time and I could not let this sign pass me up. I saw it at Target in their little dollar section along with the pumpkin and I was like, this is a perfect decoration for the entranceway. So the next item that you see is something that I just came across one day while I was at Walmart and this is a three ring key holder or key rack and it is absolutely the perfect key rack that I was looking for to go in the entrance way. So one of my main concerns moving into this new place was storage for a lot of our stuff. In this vlog you'll see that I found a lot of things that created more storage space for me and this is one of those items It's a utility rack that I found at Target and I'll link it down in the description box below but this definitely created more space for me in the laundry room to store bigger items and this is the space that I'm talking about it created so as you can see I moved the washer and dryer apart from each other and I was able to create a space to put the vacuum the shopping cart and the iron board so if you remember from my move-in video, your girl is short. I'm only 5'1 and I have 12 foot ceiling so I had to find me a step stool and I found this one really really cheap at Marshalls however it's only 9 inches so I'm gonna have to get another one but for now this one is definitely doing the trick especially in the kitchens with those high cabinets. When I'm cooking this is what I use to get into the cabinets y'all. <laughs> So this is something else that I have in my kitchen. It's also gonna go along with the fall decor theme. And I love these colors because it's simple, yet it throws in a hint of like the fall brown gold color, which I absolutely love. So another item that I found for my kitchen is my wine rack. I am so excited about this because again, I was randomly in Target actually and I found this wine rack and it was the perfect one that I was actually looking for like that's the idea that I had for the kitchen so this is my wine rack I have sitting there it's a little empty right now so you know if you want to send your girl a little bottle of wine you know I'm not opposed to it okay now since we're talking about wine let me take y'all over to the bar cart where this is what the bar cart that we bought from Ikea looks like. If you remember from my part one move-in video, go watch it if you haven't. Um, this is the bar cart that we purchased and like I said, it was from Ikea. I'll link it in the description box below. But this is gonna be a part of the theme that we have for our bar area. So yeah, our bar cart. So this is just something we had at the old apartment as well. Really don't know where to place it. So right now it's just sitting at the bar area. The bar area um, still does not have bar stools. I have not yet found the bar stools that I am looking for. So if you have any suggestions, um, any places that you know that are having good sales, they have good style, let your girl know I'm looking for acrylic or clear bar stools or gold or black something of that nature so let your girl know in the comments below making our way to the closet this item is another item that i found that helps create more storage space in the closet for my bigger items so this over the door shoe rack I found at Target. And as you can see, I haven't filled it all the way up yet. I'm not gonna show you inside the closet because I have to, you know, clean it. But yeah, it definitely created the space that I need inside the closet. On the other side of the closet door, I also found a, what you see here, a hat rack. But technically it was a belt and purse holder as you can see he used it for his hats which also comes in handy that creates more space for him to put up the things that he needs to put up in the closet
So the hand towels that I have hanging up in the kitchen were a three pack of hand towels because the wordings that I wanted were different in different packs. So I just bought all three packs and basically I created hand towels for the bathroom. You know, the towels that you don't touch. So yeah, that's what this is. And it actually went up with the color theme that I have in the bathroom, which is black and white and gray. So my last item that I'm updating y'all with for my home decor is my pink chair for my office area. As you can see, the office area is nowhere near set up yet. That's going to be a separate video. But I was gifted this office chair from my good sis, Krista Marie. Y'all saw her. That's my niece's mother. I really love my chair. I'm actually sitting in it right now. <laughs> So I'm finally introducing y'all to my little baby. His name is Samson and this is his first week here and he is loving it. He's loving his little space that I created for him with his Snoopy bowls and decor. So this is a part of the home decor update, you guys. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone.